person that they can find for a word. I hear of a Jesus saying, bring of his spirit, but now that all things are completed on the cross and he poured out his spirit and he's pouring out his spirit. He gave, he gave his Holy Spirit, he gave his Holy Spirit unto those who are willing to receive. He says, it shall come to pass, I will pour my spirit out on all flesh, not some flesh, not one or two, but those who are open, those who are receptive. And Jesus stood on the last day of the feast and he said and I hear him if any man thirst thirst for what thirst for answers thirst thirst for uh, the Holy Spirit presence thirst for um, vision insight thirst for uh, wisdom thirst for uh, even your physical needs thirst Thirst, but this thirst is us unto a spiritual thirst. This this church, this thirst is unto a spiritual thirst. And he's saying, if any man thirst, the thirst for salvation, you're not sure where you're gonna go. What at the end of this life? Are you thirsting to know if you're gonna end up in heaven or hell? Are you thirsty? Says the Lord. Well, if you're thirsty, then him who is thirsting come freely and drink it was freely given and father says why are the people hesitating to drink he says if you ask for a fish i won't give you a scorpion and if you ask for bread I'm not going to give you a stone. He says, if your earthly father and mother, or if your earthly dad and mother knows how to give you good things, how much more does your heavenly father know to give you? How much more will he give you? How much more? There is no evil inside of him. There's no darkness inside of him. He is all good he's holy and all he desires to do is to lavish so if anyone thirst you don't run to here to there to eh. you're just like oh, oh, i don't know where to go i don't know what to do i i just i don't know i don't know let's see what this one let's see what that one let me look now abba will lead at times he will lead us of course where he wants us to go if we're listening to his voice and right there is where you might receive the uh the outpouring for your thirst it might be there you receive a drink but abba jesus jesus christ himself is saying if any man thirst anyone thirst let him come freely and drink. Freely means free. It means it's been paid at a price. Paid in full already. It's been bought at a price. Paid in full already. Free is free. It's free. It's free. The Lord says it's free. Why aren't you going to the source? Why aren't you going to the rock? Moses would have tapped the rock with his rod and the Bible says God would bring out water from the rock well Jesus Christ is the rock and didn't you see even when they speared his heart the water came forth and yeah they got all kind of scientific explanations for that but the water came forth because the water the blood and the Holy Spirit be a witness that were his all right it had to be a witness hallelujah the water and the blood and of course when he resurrected that's the holy ghost so he said if any man thirst if you're not sure where you're going if today or tomorrow should happen that the world goes into total panic and it's the end of times where are you gonna go 
you die, do you know for sure that you belong to Jesus? Do you know for sure that you're going to heaven? Are you guaranteed of what you trust in Jesus? Yes. But do you receive that guarantee? Or are you just drinking uh, sips from the cup? Are you sipping the cup? Your cup have anything in it? You got to go to the well digger. The well, the source. You got to go to the source to get the thirst quenched. Because he's the one that brings out, he said, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. I'm wondering why and how people are drinking uh, and they're not, they're not overflowing. They're not, they're just not welling up because they're only drinking from somebody else's cup. They're not going to go with their own cup and be filled up so that they might overflow. So they're running, who? Fear is operating in you, which is a spirit, it's a demon. So when you're thirsty, there's only one thing that could satisfy that thirst. And it's the perfect love of God. When you encounter the perfect love of God, then the spirit of him, as Yahweh, begins to flourish. He begins to give you the authority by the case file signed Jesus Christ, unblemished. He gives you that righteousness in him. I hear him say, if anyone thirsts, let him come freely and drink. He didn't say, run, go by somebody else and drink. He never said, well, um, you're thirsty, too bad. I don't have enough for you. Or too bad, I'm not giving you any. He said, let everyone Come and drink. Just like he's saying, in the last days I pour my spirit out on all flesh. The invitation is open. Anybody can come and drink. All you have to do is come like a child. All you have to do is say, Daddy God, I want more. I want the assurance that if I die today or tomorrow that I'll go to heaven. I want the assurance in Jesus Christ. I need that like a fire running through my veins. Daddy God, Yahweh, I need you to give me that. Feed me, Jesus. Feed me. Fill me up. Fill me up. Or like a little child, when a child is hungry or when a child is thirsty, they'll say, Mom. Or dad, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, or I'm cold, or I'm too warm. When a child wants something, they ask. They do not hesitate, but they ask. And Father's saying, ask. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find knock and the door will be open unto you he says because he who becomes as a child will inherit the kingdom and if anyone becomes like one the least of these which is children he shall enter in when a child you ever see the innocence of a child if you ask the honest opinion of a child, they will tell you. They will tell you. They will tell you. And that little child has to be your spirit man that bows down before the majesty of God, Yahweh, and says, in the name of Jesus, fill up my cup, Lord where I'm thirsty, where my mind is confused, where I have no assurance, I have no hope, I'm not sure of anything. Come on, somebody. 
when you have that assurance, then anything can happen. Because you have the assurance. But if you're thirsty, which means your soul is not satisfied, a man not in control of his own spirit is like a city with broken down walls. If you don't know where your spirit is going, beloved, if you don't know where your spirit is headed to uh, on this eternal journey, well, either to heaven or hell, then it's like a city with broken down walls because you don't know. It's not protected, and the enemy can invade at any time. Thirst is very close to fear. There's two kinds of thirsting. There's a thirsty that... There's a thirsty... Well, there's two kinds of thirst. There's a thirsty that you can naturally have where you need to satisfy your thirst with drinking of liquids or whatever. And then there's a thirst of the spirit realm, which means that every single thing you do in this life cannot bring satisfaction. So you're always looking for the next best thing. You're always looking for the adventure. You're always looking for something or the other that would kind of uh, satisfy or try and breach you're, you're thirsting in the spirit realm. But there's only one thing that will satisfy, and it is Jesus Christ. He is our Abba Father from whom we came from. He is the one, he's our Savior, who gave it all for us to win our love. And all he's sitting there is his hands pierced, just like in this here. He's sitting here with his hands pierced, He's calling us like children to behold our names etched in the palm of his hands, to understand that he is Jesus the Christ, to understand that he's the one who redeemed our souls and in him we have the assurance, to understand that in his love we're sheltered, we're protected. And he's just waiting there. He's waiting there for us to come to him. And he said, if any man thirst, let him come freely and drink. The price is paid. The price of his unblemished blood was paid. That's no jokey thing. You could skin from now to next year. You could probably gain maybe 50 countries in your name or maybe 10,000 vehicles and a million houses and uh, 40 wives and I don't know what what else you want to gain. Bling, bling and ching, ching. And it'll never be enough. You'll only accumulate things because in your mind, there is no peace. There is no satisfaction. Because if you get the greatest thing, um, the next greatest thing that they bring out or shiny or whatever, and you see someone else has something better than that, then your thirst becomes amplified and you want more than that. There's a thirst that only Jesus can satisfy. There's a thirst that only he can bring and birth inside of us and each of us as individually as our uh, thumb or fingerprints are each one of us individually can reveal him in only a way that he's revealed to us when we surrender and become the sons of God each one that's what I hear the Lord saying Instead of running to everybody's cup to see how much anybody has in it and drink it out or, or try to get from that, seek him. Seek him so that he can spring up a well, living water inside, flowing from your tummy, that you, can, that you begin to overflow in others. Overflow. 
is the living water and the bread of life. He's the only one that can quench our thirst. The only one. Nobody else, nothing else. No drugs, no sex, no alcohol, no people, no things, no car, no house, no clothes, no jewelry, no nothing, no fame, no nothing. He's the only one that can quench our thirst. Do you know what he's thirsty for? Our love returned. He desires us to desire him so bad. He wants us. He, he just wants to be with us all the time. He's a loving father. Just a loving, loving Heavenly Father. And He is amazing. He just wants you to ask. He said, He who asks shall receive. Yeah? So even if you see someone pouring out of their cup, or their pitcher, or whatever, and you're filling up on that, Take an overflow of it. And then let Abba Jesus, let him birth something out of your spirit that you can fill back up someone with. Or you can overflow with. I hear him saying spiritual dryness. Spiritual dryness is when your prayer life goes down. When your worship, it ceases. When you don't want to read the Bible, you don't want to hear the things of God, you don't want to hear the things of Jesus, you just don't. Spiritual dryness. And he's saying, if anyone thirst, go to him, call to him. Then you will give up yourself. You got to admit that you're not enough and he is enough and that whatever he's, he's got, you got to receive. Surrender is not an easy thing. When you're spiritually dry, there's nothing else that you can do but surrender. Else you're going to die in that desert. You're going to wither away in that desert. He's saying the body of Christ needs to get up and drink. We are like vessels that he's filling up. Some for honor and some for dishonor. Do you want sewer water or do you want heavenly water? Because sewer water is dishonor. Heavenly water is honorable. He's saying, if anyone thirst, come like my child. Just like I took the hand of Jacob when Israel was a boy. I took him by the hand and I led him. Courts of kindness and bands of love. He wants to lead us also, beloved. He wants to take us from glory to glory with him. Which just simply means that when your story is unfolding in life, no matter how hard, no matter how not so hard, no matter how good or not so good, you're always triumphing in him, Jesus, as you cling to him. It gets one chapter after the next, one page after the next, but you're always triumphant in him. No matter what it looks like, he's the one that receives the glory. He's the one that's changed the story. He's the one that's kept you. He's the one that's kept us. And he's such a faithful father. He's a loving God and a faithful father. He's caring and he's kind and he's just. He's merciful. He's not someone that you should. Um, he's not someone that you need to fear, except to revere and understand his sovereignty. His arms are wide open and he's saying, come in. I just want to hug you in my arms and hold you close to my heart. I will teach you things that you do not know. You have one teacher and I am he, he says. 
I hear Abba saying, in my hands. They were pierced with nine inch nails so that you might know my love for you. That when you reach the Psalms and you begin to read, you'll see his, he engraves my name in the palm of his hands. My walls are continually before him. How he loves us. But you'll never receive that until you open your arms and allow him to pour out. You'll never receive that until you surrender. We could go from 2024 to 2050. Not going to happen, but we can go just, you know. And you just be there, just waiting. But you didn't ask. You didn't run to him like a child to a dad. You didn't go to him like a student to a teacher. You didn't go to him like a disciple to the Lord. He is Adonai. He is our Abba Father. And he's the only one that can sustain. He's the only one that can satisfy. We came from him. And we return unto him. All things in this world will fade away. Everything that you see around you, you don't take anywhere. So while you're stuck, when you're, you spelled receive wrong, I saw it. When they, whilst you're, whilst you're trying to um, fill up with these things, you don't even get to choose the own clothes that you wear when they bury you in a coffin. You don't take anything with you. You just don't. Naked you came and naked you will return. And he has a high purpose for you in this life. And he wants you, beloved. He wants you. He wants you to receive him. He wants you to operate in that high calling, that high purpose. In only the way that you can, that he made you to do. But instead of running around with an empty cup and asking others to fill it up, why don't you go to him yourself? Because it's hard. Because surrender is hard. To be exiled by the world is hard. So you watch others do it. You, wa you watch others sacrifice and lay down their lives and then you receive from their cup. And whilst you live your own life the way that you want to, whatever that looks like, you try to take from others' cups. He said, spiritual dryness. The body should be soaking wet. The body of Christ should be soaking wet with his presence, drenched in his presence. But if you're seeking from a well that's flowing and... The well only has so much. Come on, go to the source. Go to the source. Because this is the hour of his outpouring. And if you miss him, you miss him. You're not gonna have enough for him to take you from glory to glory because you're not gonna trust him. You're not gonna have enough wisdom. You're not gonna have enough direction. You're not gonna have enough strength. Because your flesh fighting this world is done. Your spirit in Jesus Christ fighting this world is triumphant. That's what I heard the Lord saying. He says, be planted by streams of living water that you might be green like a tree in and out of season. In and out of season. Your leaves be evergreen. Doesn't matter if it's dry season, the tree's green. Wet season, the tree's green. Hurricanes, the tree's green. Tornadoes, the tree's green. It's still standing there. Be planted by streams of living water. Jesus Christ is that living water. That's why he said, if any man is thirsty, let him come and drink freely. That's what I heard the Lord saying. 
That's what you laid on my heart. Hide it in yours that you won't sin against him. Hide it in yours that you might pick up your Bible, get into worship, begin to read the word and allow Father to speak that you might well up out of your own belly a well of water just flowing freely to fill up to someone else. Jesus is the only one that can give it. But you have to surrender. All right. That's it for now. I heard Abba saying, I am the living water. If anyone is thirsty, let him come freely and drink. He's ready. Are you ready? If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, what are you waiting on? Believe in your heart, confess your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you shall be saved. Every single one. Forsake religion and traditions of men and say, Jesus, I receive you. As my personal Savior, my Lord God, wash me in your precious blood. Fill me up with your Holy Spirit. Overflow in me a well of water. Overflow in me till I could overflow to someone else, till I could fill up someone else. Cause me not to be spiritually dry. Cause me not to go from teacher to teacher with itching ears from seat to seat. Cause me to go to you, Rabbi. Because he is the teacher. So I confess you now, Jesus Christ is my personal Savior, my Lord God. Amen, amen. I speak that the peace of God and the perfect love of God overtake you. Grace that is sufficient. You receive an unction of his Holy Spirit. You be led to water baptism that you might be baptized by fire, not a jokey fire, not to receive of the, the gifts, but to receive of his presence. That you begin to not walk in this world, but you begin to walk in him. I can't tell you how many people are dipped into the water and uh, they receive that part of the prophetic and they did nothing with it but boast in themselves. It's sad. To lead me to a Bible believing person that I might be nourished in the word to your glory is coming. Father says, if you were the only one on this earth, you would come and die that same horrific way for you. So much he loves you. How much do you love him? I also hear him saying, um, I also hear him saying, um, what did you just say, Bob? Angels are rejoicing in heaven for one more safe, beloved. I cast away disease and sicknesses from here. Right now, in Jesus' name, by sealing stripes. And I say, welcome to the kingdom of heaven. Welcome, welcome. As you begin your journey to call upon him, open your hands to receive, and you shall receive. He promises to show us things that we don't know, to teach us what only he could teach us. He loves you so much. <laughs>